G'day folks, welcome to Big V TV. Great to have you with us, Division One, and we're coming to you from the very beautiful surrounds, Melton, Tabcorp Park, out here at Melton. Ooh, nice, nice day nice too. Nice surround, yep. that's good, I like it. I like it. Well, they're it's a big sponsor. sponsor of Melton, aren't they? Yeah, big yeah. sponsor. Yep. Out here supporting our friends at the Thoroughbreeds. Yep. You guys like horsing around from time to time? A bit decked up. You look like I can see that. Have a look at yeah, you guys. Yeah. Hey, you got the gear on. I like that. I'm uh, bored. D1 women. Some big games to talk about. No doubt. Mildura 63 went down to Craigieburn 66. And there's a couple of big stories in this game. Yeah. A couple of big story. stories. Well, Mildura led by five points. Mm -hmm with three minutes to go. Yep. Crystal Whittington, 22 points in the game, yep. fouled out. Ooh. Craigie Bird said, thank you very much. We'll <laughs> take that, coming. bang. Yep. Got home, got the points late in the game and got up by three. Well, yeah, her jobs are made a lot more difficult yep. with uh, Vanessa Power going down. Um, it was clear that uh, a lot rests on her shoulders and when she's off the floor, that they, they, they suffer. And you know, they, they, they have um, some other players. Brooke, Brooke Rule played well mm. and so did Tracy Sherlock, but Whittington adds that class and uh, you know, without her, that it hurt. I'll, I'll be Cost honest, it. I thought without Power, I thought Craigie Burn would probably win that match by 20 or so. Yeah. So all's not lost for Mildura. They're yeah. still going to be there. Absolutely not. Because Craigie Burn yeah. are a really good team too. And so. I've said it once and I'll say it a thousand times, it is a bloody tough place to play at. Yeah, it Incredibly is. tough yep. place to play at. Denunzio 15 and 10. Ali McLean 16 points. Eliza Stiliano 13 points. Crystal Whittington 22 in that game. Brooke Rule 20 points, four triples. Tracy Sherlock 13 points. Undefeated the Eagles still? Yeah, they are. Three and zip, I think. Altona, 68, defeated Sunbury, 59. The big story here, Emmy O'Neill did not play for the Jets, and yeah. that is a, from the door for that's a big that. presence. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well done to Altona. Sally Cameron, 16 points. Katrina Vogel, Zhang, 16 points, 9 rebounds, 4 blocks. Yep. Kayla Theodoro, 15 points for Sunbury. Great start to the season. Deborah Oxton, 14. Do you think Sunbury will win a game? Oh, it's too early to say that they won't. Oh, I think they will. Mm -hmm. Emmy O'Neill, look, it's a big loss. They went down to Altona by nine, and fantastic Altona, yeah. get the win, absolutely. Especially because they're such a young. Somebody will get some wins. I, th I think Emmy O'Neill makes a big difference to okay. that team for yep. sure. I think they'll be okay. Warren Dyke, 65, defeated Latrobe City. Why, I'm stopping you there. Yeah, it's you are absolutely dodgy See, ass. I'm taking it out so you can't carry on while we call you out on this one. You no. Are, no, you're a disgrace. Why is that? He just brings in just an import shooting what? guard, you know, just doesn't tell anyone about her. In she comes, absolutely no, dominates hang on a second. the game. That's not true. That's yeah, not that true. true. Did you tell why, why didn't why I get didn't a media, you, Why wasn't I emailing you? It's been in the last six days, No, it? it's no. been on the Warren Dyke basketball website for about the last month. It's an expectation of the league that the Club send in any news they no, have look, through to me. You push that and everyone should be putting their media. Oh, I forward. do actually. Right. I do so put it. So what about your own? No, 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 no. Well, it is pot kettle black. I accept that, but. Yeah, we, we got we got a lot of clowns out there who think that <laughs> I come true. on here that and just true. talk about Warren Dyke. I don't like talking about Warren Dyke, to be honest with you. I don't. Bang. No, I wouldn't be too much to announce an import. Cows cross. Well, okay, all right, we've got an import. I'm just letting you know. Well, why didn't you tell us? I'm just letting you know. Why didn't you tell us? Oh, I'm telling you now. 23 points, eight boards in her first game. She's in the Argentina national team. Is she? She's going to be pretty good. And you're a sneaky and little bastard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't you reckon championship favourites now? Yeah, no oh, doubt. Come on, move on, will you? <laughs> and Stephanie, that is not a typo. It's S T H E F A N Y. It's a silent H. She came in, played a good game. Yeah, that's oh, good. I, think, I think she's going to be a good addition to the league. Oh, I did. That's fantastic. The more better players. Yes. Yeah. Twenty-three points, eight rebounds. Rachel Wansborough, twelve and fourteen. Molly Burke, twelve points. Jamie Lee Pierce, fifteen, eleven for Latrobe City. Venom get the points. And Difference maker. Step oh Sorry. yes, big announcement. What? Now, well, this is what basketball is all about. Oh, yeah? Everyone talks doom and gloom all the time. Basketball is about looking Shooting outside. Jumpers. Well. Walk outside your backyard yep. and see more than the three fences. Mm -hmm. You've got to see the other clubs. You've got to work with the other well, what's clubs. What's your story? David Roberts. Yeah. President, President of Latrobe City. Yep. President of Latrobe City. Yep. Came down with his girls. Wore his orange gear. Yep. It's all about Orange Nation down there Absolutely. at Latrobe City. Yeah, get on board. Came down to sit in the stands, have a yep. quiet Sunday afternoon and cheer for his girls. Mm -hmm. yep. Late call up. Yep. We had a, a key person missing. Yep. Did the court announcing at Warrandyte. Oh, that's fantastic. Wow. How good is that? You know what, that yeah. shows you the type of people that him and Kath Love are it. at Latrobe City. Yep. But that's what Big V's about, stepping in, helping each other out. No doubt. Know, Just say yes, no it. worries, I'll do it. Yeah. Yep. Got on the microphone and supported for Warren Dyke all afternoon. Big V community. Good. It was good. No, very, uh, and totally appreciative. Yeah, that's great. We've signed him up for the rest of the season. Looking forward to it. <laughs> Geelong 52 defeated Camberwell 44. Geelong 17-3 to third quarter. Yep. In that third quarter, Campbell shot one of 12 and had oh, 11 turnovers. They just didn't come awful. out after half time, the Dragons. No, no, Did no. not come out after half time. Whisper. 
It's a very good whisper. No Anna Teague in this game. Maddie yeah. Taylor did come in. Comes yeah. in from the AOS. She's a very good pickup. But no but Anna Teague. Was Player that? of the month for the first month. She's been absolutely tearing it apart. I've mm. heard she's not going to be back. Why? Gone. Why? Why? Uh, well, if my sources are correct, she was heading overseas later on in the season anyway, so she yeah. would have been away. But she will now miss the rest of the season. I believe that she tore a calf muscle oh. playing domestic Tennis. basketball. Oh, she's done it for Nessa Powell. <laughs> now that is too, if that's true, and that's that's what I've heard, if that's true, two and, 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 and Geelong can confirm it with us, yep. two sure guns of the competition, yep. guns, mm. have both injured themselves playing, can I say it honestly, mm. meaningless, oh. open age, domestic competition during the week. I say meaningless, because they're Big fan of domestic so basketball oh, over here. No, 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 no. I didn't say domestic juniors. I said domestic senior competition. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That is. The thing yeah. is, when the big V season starts... You probably want to stop playing. That's that. it. I'm all for it during the off-season. Yeah. No worries at all. Fair enough. But when the season... That, mate, that's two guns. Two all-star five players, probably. Seriously. Guns. Yeah. Guns. Come on. Would you do it? Do you endorse it? I play. He plays. Wednesday night. <laughs> he plays. Wednesday night. What chance have I got? I'll tell you now, whether you endorse it or not. Get my court time then. Whether you in <laughs> that's right. Whether you endorse it or not. Yeah. Could you imagine being on the other end of the phone at Mildura and Geelong when you get those oh, phone calls? Oh, if you're calls? the coach, you'd be gutted. Yeah. Absolutely gutted. No yeah. doubt about it. If that's true, by the way. I'm just saying that's what yeah. I've heard. Yeah. That's Let's what I've heard. Yeah. Yeah. Right She's probably, just yeah. flu She's probably or overseas yeah. or something. Yeah, that's right. Amy Wormold, 17 points, 16 rebounds, 5 steals in this game for Geelong. She's had a terrific start yeah, to the yeah, season, yeah, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Maddie Taylor came in 14 points. She's a great pickup. Lauren, uh, and, and look, Anna Teague's a big loss. Yep. Maddie Taylor's a massive get. They'll, they'll be fine. Yep. They'll be all right. Lauren Kilmeister, 10 points, 11 rebounds for Camberwell. Hawthorne, 58, went down to Whittlesey, 65. Paces open up the game, 19 to four third quarter. Carly Simons 11 points for the Pacers. Steph Perch 19 points. Nicole Swan 14 points for Hawthorne. Close game. Probably, I think Hawthorne came back in the last. It yep. probably made it a little bit closer than what it was. Yeah. Still not convinced, mate. No. No, it's an unconvincing win from Whittles. I agree. It's an unconvincing win. You two are on their back, aren't you? I'm just saying, I think they've got the players there, but it's an unconvincing win no, against uh, no. a team that's you know, not going to be too crunchy. You're, going, you're going, going early but, here. You, no, 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 you're I going agree. early. Now, that's not to say they're not going to win the whole that's thing. That's right. But right now, they've been unconvincing in their wins. Can I also no, say... No, I like Whittlesey. Can I also I like say... Don't we lie. like Whittlesey. We like no, Whittlesey. Can we also say to Hawthorne, though, we said that um, you know they were going to struggle without the Ross Harris sisters. The Steph Perch Getting coming. Steph Perch yep. back, massive in for them, and she's been playing really well. Don't write Whittlesey off. The ladder, Geelong 3-0, Craigieburn 3-0, Whittlesey 2-1. Oh, one. hello, there's Whittlesey. Okay. 2-1. Warrandyte and Mildura both <laughs> one and one. Latrobe City one and two. Camberwell one and two. Hawthorne and Altona one and two. Sunbury Owen three. And that is our top four for the year. Yeah, you're right. Really? Yeah. Yeah, because Latrobe City is going to be inconsistent in their personnel. Mildura have lost Vanessa Power and Camberwell Hawthorne Altona and Sunbury will make up the bottom Hang four. On so you've got the Hang on a ready. second. Danny Pierce is missing from Latrobe City for the next couple of weeks. I'm just saying cozy yeah, not yeah, being And you know what, and it's fantastic that Danny Pierce is in the state side and you know, she goes wish her well. But no, let's say they happen to lose a couple of games over that period. And this is going to be a really tight ladder in that top five, six, seven spots. And there's you guys have called four. it after three weeks. Uh, there's your top four right there. No. So yeah, who's Have Camberwell been competitive? Yeah. yeah. Have Hawthorne been competitive? Even yes. Sunbury. Oh, Tony, they've been competitive. Who's missing out of I mean, those Mildura's top four? I mean, got home Who's going to miss? Who's, who's going to miss? top four? It's looking reasonably good at the moment. <laughs> but I think I think Mildura... It's been very difficult. I think Mildura and Latrobe City... Um, we need to carry on uh, as long as they are big, big chances. Oh, absolutely. But I don't. Th I think the top four, my opinion, is that it's set. As it is mine. Round four, Saturday, Geelong, Mildura. Who you got? Geelong. At go home. Geelong. I think Geelong at home. Altona, Warrandyte. Warrandyte with... Early. Altona, Warrandyte. Warrandyte to be led by MVP oh, Steph Thomas. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, don't <laughs> Stephanie start Thomas, that. MVP. I'd like to think we would. When, when she gets to the foul line, you start chanting. MVP. MVP. I would like MVP. to think. Hey, hey, she played one game. <laughs> Settle down, will ya? I, I would like to think we win that, yes. I think you're right. Craigie Burn, Hawthorne. Craigie Burn to stay on the feed. Yep. Craigie Burn for me. Campbell L and Latrobe City on Sunday. Latrobe City. Yeah, I think you're right. Come Ooh, on, Chan. Like Let's go. Campbell No, I'm wrong. Really? Um, Sunbury, Whittlesey. Whittlesey? 
I think yeah. Whittle seen them come out. And make I don't know. You two have this gives a statement off. game for Whittle seen them come out and win by a lot. Hawthorne, Geelong, do finish the round. Geelong, cool. hard man. weekend for Hawthorne. Tough weekend hard for weekend. Hawthorne. Stop look at you, yapping. Look at you two smirking at the moment. Are you winding me up today, big time? No, it's been difficult. Division on. one men, Latrobe City, <laughs> seventy-seven defeated Geelong, seventy-three. Energy, twenty-four to seventeen. Last quarter to get the win, they stormed home. Jordan Canavan, eighteen points. Kelvin Reese, fourteen, eleven. Kelvin Reese had a good season so far. Yep. Big, big fella. Mm -hmm. Nick Sedley, 12 points in that game. Stephen Wyzak, 18 and 12. Jared Watin, 12 points. You know me, I've always spoke like up Geelong. He looks like Bruno Mars. Who? Jared Watini. Does he? Yeah. Okay. I've always spoke up Geelong, <laughs> which shows just the potential that Latrobe City have, because they've still got the perm. <laughs> perm will be here this week. Really? I haven't heard that. Wow. Perm will play this week. Really? That's what I've heard. Perm will play this week. That's huge. Interesting. I haven't heard that, but we'll see. Turns him into a force of you. I think he plays this week. Alright. Mind you, you think? I said that, I said he that last week. He's playing too. this week. I think he's playing this week. Perm's playing this week. He's oh, in. Oh, he is All now. Right. He's oh, in. Right. Okay. McKinnon, 76. Struggled to get over the top of Melbourne Uni, 70. <laughs> yeah. Melbourne Uni up by two points at the last change. Melbourne Uni won the rebounds in this game, 45-39. Now, there's a reason I've written that down. Yep. Timo? Yep. Yeah. Adipose you. Yep. Yeah. They are man mountains. They're yeah. huge. How on earth did you guys lose the rebound count? There's no one rebounded a bit Timo in this game. And you know what? Routon Wil Wilcock or something from Routon Melbourne Wil Uni yeah. is Woodcock. Giant. Woodcock. Massively tall. Giant. He's big. Towered over big uh, Marcus. He did. Tim, um, Moses. Marcus is only 6'8. Uh, yeah, 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 that's 6'8 wide. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you got him fat. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you just got him yeah, yeah, fat. He's Tim got a problem fat. with Marcus, doesn't he? <laughs> hey, <laughs> listen. I haven't seen the interviews on Big V yet, bigv.com.au, oh, yeah. with Timo and also Sidel Threat. Can we get them up there? Because yeah, they are up. very good. Um, Billy Harrison, 24 and 7 in this game, by the way. And it, if it's possible to have a quiet 24 and 7, he did, you just don't notice him, but he gets the job done. I think he's been one of the better signings. Good play, Billy Melbourne Harrison. Uni are 1 and 4. Canada's best. But you know what? They could easily be 5 and 6. Yeah. They're losing they're close, team. tough, competitive games. Coach Walker's put together a really good side. I'm still tipping they're going to make the finals on the other side. Yeah, of the I agree with you. They're a good team. Yeah. Uh, Billy Harrison, 24 and 7. Moses Adepoju, 17. Marcus about Timmons. 5 and 1s as well. Marcus Timmons, 10 and 12. Stefan Pomerson, 17 points in this game. Mm. Mildura 62, defeated Craigieburn 59. He's the story of the week for me, this Ooh. game. Oh, I'll take us through it. Well, let's be honest, Craigieburn have come up from Div 2. Mm -hmm. They've won their first two games against a young Warnable side and against an Altona side no one really rates at all. This was, to me, their first big test. Mm -hmm. First quarter, Mildura blew them off the court, 22-6, to six, looking like, and you would expect them to go on and absolutely probably then win by 40 points. Craigieburn come right back at them and, you know, yeah, they lost the game, but if they can get within three points of Mildura, maybe we really have underestimated Craigieburn this season because that's a bloody top yep. effort. Or have we overestimated Mildura? No, because yeah. I'm just, I'm just I think it's Colum A, Colum B, Colum B, because Mildura, you know, Colum A, Colum B, because oh, Colum A, Colum B, Colum sitting on the fence. <laughs> oh, not because Mildura have the have the two imports. So obviously, they're outstanding players in Brent Simons. The rest are just kids. Yeah. Uh, but that being said, Craigieburn have absolutely come out and uh, and shown us that they And you know what, Eric Mira Flores, I think, legitimate. only had nine points in that game for Craigieburn. So it showed out. I think yep. Blake Dickinson played well. Did. 15 points, 8 rebounds, yep. 5 assists. They've got other cool. guys stepping up. So, you know, well done to the Eagles. Kelvin Henry, 26 and 15. 5 assists, 5 blocks. Terrell Bell, 14 points, 5 assists, 6 blocks. Yep. Mildura had 11 blocks in that game. Guess who had them all? Yeah, Those two yeah. Those two. Six and five, I think it was. Heat 14 of 16 from the foul line. That was telling in the end, too, yeah. in a three point game. Altona 70 defeated Sunbury 55, 37 to 20 first half. Jets shot 23%. Yeah. Craig Martin 23 and 10 for the Gators. Thomas Scott 17 points for the Jets. I was disappointed in the Jets in this game because yeah, I've seen them. They've had three competitive. really yeah, competitive yeah. games, yep. and I. To I me, they that, got up here. that wasn't the summary that I saw a couple of weeks beforehand, yeah. to be honest with you. Yeah. Okay. And Craig Martin, good inclusion for Altona. Yeah, huge. Yeah, yeah and, good you know, player. Again, this is still a pretty young side that they're mm. keeping together. They're sticking with them, Altona, and you know, they'll be okay, and that was a good win. Yeah. Whittlesey, 94, defeated Southern Penn, 78. Big win. Pacers finished 25-12 to 12 last quarter. Michael Petridis. Now, one of the three of us talked this guy up at the start of the season. I think I was. One of the three of us. Wait, it wasn't me, you, actually. and it wasn't me. I nah. thought it. And I've got to tell you, he delivered big time well on the done. weekend. Uh, well done. Michael Petridis, 25 points. Jabril Banks, 24. Jason Dirks, 20. Manny Hendricks, the guitar man, 34 and 9. 12 of 30. Shut. What are you Get trying to up. say? He got, got him up. He got him up. Yeah, he got the shots up. Atta boy. 
Well, why can't you just say you got 34 points? Why'd you say 12 or 30? What are you saying about the guitar man? That he likes to shoot. We know that. He knows that. Ryan Tindall at 21 eight as well. Good win, Pacers. On 12 shots. I think you two have given it to me today, so I'm going to take every chance <laughs> Do I can. You know, I think most people thought this game would be closer. Someone at that game told me that Southern Penn actually looked pretty slow up and down the floor. Slow? Yeah, I haven't seen them play myself this year. I'm just saying what I've been told. But apparently in this game, they look pretty slow up and down the floor. So I think you tipped it. them to win the championship, didn't you? Did you tip them to win? I tipped them to make top four. What are your not, thoughts now? Not so sure. Yeah, shaky. Warren died 54, went down to Hawthorne at 66. Incredibly ugly game, to be honest. Yeah, you were there. I was there, and it was an ugly game of basketball. Uh, Magic broke it open with a 21 to 14 third quarter. Daniel McLennan, good player, 16 16. Jeremiah Jurek, 19 points. James Six, 20 and 8. Jared Leonard, 13. Well, go on. What? what? Go on. What? What, what are you going to say about it? What do you got to say about that game? Hawthorne and my tip to win the championship. They got a good 12 point win against a good team. It was a very ugly game You're of basketball. You're a weak dog. You're a weak dog. Chelsea 82 defeated Warnable 75. Was that our off air conversation? Is that what you were going to say on air? Our off air conversation? Yes. Is that no, what you were going to say on air? That's unfair. Wow. Chelsea though. 82 defeated Warnable 75. Seahawks 31 to 17 last quarter closed the gap significantly. It wasn't enough though. Darren Best 21 points, seven rebounds, five assists. You like Darren Best? I think Darren Best is a fantastic player. And not only have they still not had Butter Johnson in uniform yet, where is Chelsea butter? in this game. Where is, Hopefully, where is Butter? FBI check. <laughs> is that what it is? Where oh, is Butter? Yeah. No, just, just part of the just waiting for his paperwork. Check. Yeah. Yep. Immigration paperwork, you know what it's like. Hopefully that'll come through this week. Also, Vlad Tankov didn't play with a bruised heel. He's out for a couple of weeks. Oh, come on, Vlad. Bruised and heel. No. You don't, he doesn't run. <laughs> come on, Vlad. Oh. Vlad's good. Vlad's, Vlad's been doing really good. Sponsored a couple of players at the club, getting involved with the juniors. He's done really well since going back to Chelsea. I've heard a bit of a whisper. <laughs> I've heard a bit of a whisper. We're out of Tab Court Park here yeah, in Elton yeah. today, yeah. supporting the Thoroughbreds. I've heard a bit of a whisper that Big VTV mm. might be getting filmed from Vlad's antique shop at some time in the future. Is that true? Yeah, it's likely. yeah, we're just waiting for a certain CEO to come back from Italy who loves antiques. So. Like it. Uh, now, we put this out to everyone not that long ago as yep. well, and this is why Melton jumped on the bandwagon. If you want us to come out to your club, give us a yell. Give us a yell. We're more Sorry, happy Mildura, to... we've got a decline. No, 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 why? Are you paying? No, I'm, I'm happy to go up to if Mildura. I'm flying. I'm happy to fly up there. I'm happy to go to Mildura. On what budget? Mine. Hydraulic solution. You're not worried about you two. I'm no, happy we'll, to go to Mildura. We'll, we'll, you go up there and we'll put you on Skype. <laughs> okay, all right, yeah. fair enough. And we'll why see don't we, you with our computer. Why don't we go down to Latrobe City one week as well? Could happen to. Yeah, well, come on. Club's out there. Get on board. Get on the Facebook page and tell us you want us to come out. We will. Tim Ganey, 26 and 10 for Waterball <laughs> Chelsea. Well done. Uh, yeah. Melbourne Uni, 70. Lost to Whittlesey, 75. Good work, Melbourne Uni. Two close losses. Mm. Yeah, but they're, they're one and four. All Same four thing. of their games, I think, look, think have been within Doesn't 10 Doesn't indicate points. where they're at. But, but anyway. they've played Whittlesey twice oh God, the, and lost to McKinnon. So. Yeah. So <laughs> the, yeah. Michael Petridis, 35 points and nine rebounds. 13 to 16 from the free throw line, by yeah. the way, Petridis. He reckons he's a star. I'm with him now. Yeah. Yeah. I knew he was. Massive, oh, loss yeah. Massive loss for Eltham. Massive loss for Eltham. Keep saying, I'll pick him in a state champ team. Michael Petridis tomorrow. Nicholas Masunda, 25 points in that game. Terrell Ladder, take us through it, young man. Mildura, 2 and 0. Whittlesey, 3 and 1. Craigie Byrne, 2 and 1. Geelong, 1 and 1. Altona, 1 and 2. Melbourne, 1 and Melbourne Uni, 1 and 4. Mel uh, Sunbury, 0 and 4. And Warnable, 0 and 3. Watson Ladder. McKinnon, 3 and zip. Hawthorne, 3 and zip. Chelsea, 4 and zip. Latrobe City, 2 and 2. Warrandyte, 2 and 2. Camberwell, 1 and 2. Southern Penn, 1 and 2. Blackburn are yet to have a win, 0 and 2. Well, well, what did you want to ask me about <coughs> Warrandyte? You had something you want to ask me? Yeah, that's right. What did you want to ask no. me? Can you say that? Yeah, I can. All I was going to say is... No, I don't say it. We'll move no, on. Okay, cool. Saturday games, Happy round four. Here we go. Southern Penn and Warrandyte. 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 Based on what? Last week? You can only get better. You know, I, no, I like, do you want to know why? Why? Warren and are a pretty quick team. Yeah. My news is that Southern Penn aren't a quick team. They're going to run them off their feet. Okay, oh. fair enough. All right. Chelsea and Campbell. I'll go Warren Dyer in that game, by the way. Chelsea and Campbell. Uh, oh, Chelsea. Uh, Chelsea for mine. Yes. Geelong and Mildura. Oh, what a cracker. I'm going Geelong, Geelong at home. Geelong. Mildura. First time on the road for Mildura. Yep. Coming down from Orange County. Yep. Do you reckon Plum County will get a visit on the way home? Could. Will Plum County get a visit on the way home? Hopefully their new imports aren't shy. <laughs> will the plums come think. out on the way home, yes or no? Yes. It's it's tradition. Madigan will stop the bus halfway home, we know that. Nudie run. The old plums will be out. I'm going Geelong. McKinnon, Blackburn. Yeah. McKinnon for mine. 
Hawthorne, Latrobe City. Hawthorne. Perm will be in. You know what? This is a replay of the round 18 game I know. last year where these teams. Latrobe had... City went from second to fifth. That's right. That's right. So, right. And, you know, if the Perm comes in, what better Perm's way to in. make a statement? Perm's in. Perm's playing. Sticking with Hawthorne, though. Perm's playing. Okay. Who are you going with? Uh, Hawthorne. What about you? Hawthorne. Yep. Altona, Warner, but mind you, oh. Hawthorne would want to be better. Hawthorne got the win last week, but they'll be the first ones to put their hands up and go, we're going to play better than that. Did Jay oh. Allen play? No, it was an ugly, it was an ugly game. Did Jay Allen play? Yeah, Jay Allen played. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Altona, Warner. Altona. Altona. A couple of wins in a row to the young Gators yeah. team. Altona to win. Sunday games, Camberwell, Altona. Dragons. To yeah, get them on the back. Oh, Altona on no, Sunday. Altona Sunday. Altona on a Sunday. Dragons. Altona Sunday. Nah, you're wrong. Altona yeah. Sunday to get the double this weekend. Yep. Craigie Burn, Melbourne Uni. Huge game. Huge game. Melbourne These Uni. two teams are going to be the teams that are fighting off for fourth spot mm. in the other conference, I reckon. So, Craigie Burn get up here. Melbourne Uni dropped to one and five. Done. So, I think Melbourne Uni can't afford to put it down. They're going to get the win. Who you going with? Melbourne Uni. They've, they've been rough to not oh, I'm going to wins. stick with you guys. Melbourne Uni. Warnable and Mildura. Oh, country battle. Mildura. Mildura. Sunbury, Whittlesea. Whittlesea. Whittlesea for mine. Me too. There we go. D1. We're finally done. Is the Perm playing this week? Seriously? I think he's playing. I think. Maybe I like it.